For our reading today in Esther 10, I'd like to do something that we often don't get to do, and that's read the entire chapter to you. Now, don't worry, it's actually only three verses, and it's a beautiful end to this captivating, somewhat suspenseful, intriguing, and amazing account of God's faithfulness and power known as the book of Esther. Verse one says this, King Xerxes imposed a tribute throughout his empire, even to the distant coastlands. His great achievements and the full account of the greatness of Mordecai, whom the king had promoted, are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Mede and Persia. Verse three, Mordecai the Jew became the prime minister with authority next to the king Xerxes himself. He was very great among the Jews who held him in high esteem because he continued to work for the good of his people and to speak up for the welfare of all their descendants. You see, the book of Esther closes with almost a fairy tale like ending. I mean, to me, it feels like it reads, and they lived happily ever after. See, God's people were saved from obliteration. Mordecai is set up as a powerful ruler, given the ability to protect and to speak for his people. And both Esther and her uncle emerge as heroes for the Jewish people to forever be remembered and celebrated. And God's will to preserve a people group from which his son, the Messiah, would eventually come, well, it's preserved. You know, I've actually made this statement before as we've been reading through this book, the book of Esther. But I think it's this. I think that the book of Esther could be and should be bookmarked for believers as a source of encouragement and a healthy dose of perspective on some simple truths that seem too easily simple to forget. That's the truth that there actually is a God. The truth that he actually does care about us and the reality that he's actively engaged in our lives. And this, in the end, he wins. So today, be encouraged. Today, be reminded that in the end, well, let me read it to you. It's, a, it's in the book of Revelation, and it's not a fairy tale ending, but it's reality. Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, nor pain. For all these things are gone forever. The book of Esther ends with a great source of encouragement that in the end, God wins.